So it's Wednesday the 4th of August 2021 and I'm now getting to the point where I'm finishing off the work that year nines had started. The work as you know was on a project that I instigated by going to the Hundertwasser Museum in Vienna two years ago and Cass Lester the art teacher created these uh, composite drawings for the students to work on. I went to the school and did two days worth of work where I showed the students how to cut a tile and as you can see from two days they've done quite a lot. They were brilliant, they were ideal students to work with and I wish somebody had come to my school when I was 13 to teach me how to cut a tile can you imagine what I'd be like now? So, um, <laughs> so here's what the work will be like uh, the next few weeks. I'm going to carry on with these, finish, of the, finish them off, put uh, holes in uh, each of the panels for the attachment of. Um, these are internal mosaics, so that's why we're using plywood. And yeah, so this is what... I'll be working on next. So uh, looking forward to showing you the work in progress um, on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and occasionally Twitter. See you soon. Bye. So Insta friends, it's Friday the 27th of August 2021, little filmette update on the Hundertwasser project that I started with, with year nine students at Hodge Hill College and I've continued. So the students started with this colour variant all the way up to here and I've gone and continued it and continued it to these gorgeous colours. Really into those colours, so I continued it into the next panel. Um, there's a funky face going on there in a Hundertwasser style with a little bit of David Bowie-esque, I would suggest, circa Ziggy Stardust. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is what I'll be working on today, um, particularly this section here, I think. I want to finish that today. Um, here is the other panel, which everyone seemed to like on Instagram, so I'm really pleased with that. Um, I've yet to grout it. Uh, I think I'll grout them all in two, two or three successive days. This is the design that the teacher put out. And yeah, that's what it looks like today. So I'll be working on this baby today and for the rest of the next week. Okay then, speak to you soon. Bye. So it's Tuesday the 7th of September 2021 on a very, very, very hot 
autumnal day. <laughs> it's supposed to be autumn. Anyway, it's gorgeous out there. And it's very warm inside my studio. But despite that, I have completed the second set of panels the Hundert Vassa project for Hodge Hill College. And I finished off infilling this undulation with a bit of crockery esqueness this morning. Um, kind of going with the crazy infilling straight lines esque that uh, Hundert Vassa did. Obviously, a little bit thicker. But it gives you the impression, and he t did tend to use the black and white checks as well. Um, and you know, when you're working on a tabletop and then you pull it back and lean it against um, a wall, or in my case, these shelves, you kind of say, oh, that works. <laughs> so that's good, phew. So the mosaic panels, have been completed, but the grouting hasn't. So the next plan of action is to get the 144 chocolate mappe grout, sanded grout that I love using, and infilling them. And I think I'm going to start with this gorgeousness because I do love this. This is my favourite bit, I have to say. I don't know if it's because it's the rainbow, but these gorgeous tiles really do work. I'm really liking the texture of them as well as their colour combination with a little bit of pinky orange sparkly as well. So I'm going to start with that. I have got three tables this size, three foot by four foot, and I'm planning to do one at a time rather than having all three out. Uh, we shall see. We shall see how it goes. Um, I'm not going to overdo it um, as it's so hot. Uh, we don't want it all drying out either. So I'm going to slowly but surely work on those with the sound of music in the background to encourage me. OK, then. Speak to you soon. Bye. Right, friends, um, it's Thursday morning on the, I think it's the 9th of September, and I thought I'd do a little handy filmette for you. I've just mixed a batch of chocolate grout. Look at it. It looks like chocolate sauce. Looks lovely. And I thought I'd show you how I grout a little filmette here for you. Um, so, just showing you one section here. So I'm using my rubber kidney. It's quite a large rubber kidney. You'd find this in pottery shops, um, ceramic shops. It's a very flexible, non-scratchy tool to use when you're pushing your grout into the crevices. And you're pushing it in really well. Now I'm going to, oh, sorry, elbowed you there. Um, now I'll wait for that to cure. I'll put this on pause and then I'll get on to the second patch. Okay, friends, so the um grout has cured um i don't know if you can tell but it's quite dusty along here um and that's how you know it's starting to work um what i now do is um try and get my blooming gloves back on <laughs> what i try to do now is yeah, you can tell that because there's a kind of crumb-like crumb, crumb -like, 
uh, dry-esque-ness about it. Very hard to explain and work at the same time. But um, I've applied grout elsewhere along um, the sections as well. And now what I'm doing is using the back of the brush. You can tell it's curing because there's a... I'm going to take this glove off, actually. What, what you can see is it becomes quite crumbly. So if I can just show there. And using the back of brush of the brush actually helps to obviously get rid of the excess grout. Now you could use a soft sponge as well. Um, it's got a lot of grout on it, but uh, um, that gets, as you can see, that gets rid of the excess grout as well. You can see that. And to rub gently, don't dig into it. You're just getting the surface. And then, again, the back of the brush to just eke out those extra excess grout. In fact, if grout goes onto the tiles, it won't take too long to clean it up. And even though the grout itself, the grout mixture, has a half an hour pot life, um, it's still malleable for another ooh, half an hour extra. So uh, at least, might be a little bit more than half an hour actually. I've never timed it actually. So can you see what I'm doing there? Let's just maneuver it a little bit, sorry. Maneuver it a little bit more. There you go. Right, Let's see if I can get this out for you. So very, very gently, you're going, you see, I'm using brushes, particularly when you've got different height items like this glass mosaic. It's a bit thicker than the tile. So you're sculpting around it. And you're just going very gently around all the bits and bobs. So I hope this little filmette is uh, uh, a good explanation for you. Um, so you can see it. I hope I'm showing you the right places as well. Have tripod, will travel. Okay friends, and then obviously a little brush to it so you can just brush it away which is the other end of the brush obviously because it's a brush sorry look and good as new all grouted for you so i've just got the rest to do now so uh Caroline Jerrywell, Mango Mosaics, over and out. See you soon. So Bye. it is quarter to four on Thursday, the 9th of September, 9921. And I, as you can see what's behind me, can you see what's behind me? I have just finished grouting the six panels for Hodge Hill. So hopefully they're not going to fall down, but... I've just propped them up against bins and chairs so that you can see them properly. And I'm really pleased. I'm very pleased with the sparkliness and the brown grout really suits it well. And it's brought, the grout has brought everything together like we knew it would. Look at that. How sparkly is that? And, and how sparkly is that? 
So these are now going to be collected by the school and installed indoors in the corridor of the school and probably the art department. I would suggest it's going to be installed in the art department's corridor. And uh, yeah, so that's it. That's the end of this project. On to the next. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.